Alrighty, so on this one we have Early America. Let's do, on this video, we're going to do uh, both one and two. So the number one, making horseshoes, and then number two, also the uh, spinning wheel. So on this one, we on the top left, we have a, a technique, a secret, hands together coordination. So what we're going to do is find our D position, regular D position. This is going to be a D minor. <laughs> And then what they want us to do is kind of just practice some of these intervals. You notice we have a 1-5, and then on this one we have a 4th. And what we're noticing is that the A on the top is staying the same. So when you're playing these chords, we're always going to keep that A. And then those bottom notes are going to be coming up. So we're just practicing those transitions a little bit. We're going to count. We have a 3-4 time count. These are 1, 2, 3, 1. So a lot of kind of sense of suspense here, kind of like almost a sense of kind of wondering, you know, where is this going to go? What's happening? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Again, kind of taking a repeat, play those as many times as you want to, making sure you can play all of those with a nice seamless sort of transition. One, two, three, bum, 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 bum. Okay, and so with that in mind, we're going to go ahead and get started with this one. Left hand, you are going to play those exact same combinations. If you notice, we have a staccato as well, counting as a one, two, three, one, two, three. And you can play those as many times as you want to, making sure you get nice and comfortable playing those without any mistakes. Same thing for the right hand. Okay, so let's do measures one through four, counting as a, well, this is a forte, so nice and loud here. One, two, three, bum, 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 and then holding this is a here fifth. We're just going to hold that down. Notice on the tie here, both of those notes are being connected to the next measure there on four. So we have those kind of little baby lines. Those are connected actually from the previous one. So we're going to just keep holding that down. Okay. Take the repeat back at the beginning. One, Okay, and then on five, we're going to take both hands, so just like we, what we did on the top uh, left there with the those um, chord patterns, we're going to play these together. Also noticing the dynamics, we're just starting with the piano, so we're going to start soft, bring up the dynamics so nice and loud, and then kind of bringing it back down, so really practicing those crescendos. <laughs> Again, let's do also add some pedal on this. Uh, those very last two measures there. Getting loud. One, two, three, one, two, three. If we notice on the very last line, starting on measure seven, eight, and nine, you have one big kind of crescendo there, one big long crescendo that's going through all of those. So we want to make sure when we're playing those notes, we're each note uh, as we get you know through the intervals we're getting progressively louder and louder and louder until we get to that nice big forte one, two, three, one, two, three. okay so that's that one let's go ahead and do on the bottom there it says transpose to a minor so we're going to find our a minor position and we're going to do the exact same thing starting from the beginning So let's go ahead and go to number two. So on this one, uh, we're practicing our kind of, um, this is a repeating pattern. You're gonna see this a lot, especially in kind of like Baroque and classical style music, that kind of pattern. We're gonna be continuing to press that A. That's a kind of a sustained uh, note there that's gonna give us that kind of sense of suspense. Whenever you're watching a film or a movie, they use a lot of these combinations to kind of create that sense of uncertainty and that's kind of suspense. So. Again, we're going to start with our D minor position, really following the fingers here, <clears throat> 5, 1, 4, 1, 3, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1. So noticing that thumb, we're always using that thumb, 5, 4, 3, 2, 3, 4. And you can play that as many times as you want to. I certainly encourage you to play that as fast as you can. We're, what we're doing is exercising a lot of those little muscles in there, making sure we can develop those and play those as fast uh, as we can. So again, five, four, three, two, three, four. OK, 
Okay, and then on three, we're gonna hold that left hand, uh, hold the D down, notice you have that tie there, connecting both of those measures together. We're gonna do the exact same thing with the right hand. We're gonna hold uh, that A, that A is gonna be our kind of repeating note there. Instead of using our thumb, we're using our pinky. So use your one, two, three, four, three, two, and we're kind of just continuing to repeat those. Let's go ahead and take the repeat back to the beginning. sense of like this spinning wheel kind of spinning you know with these all these notes kind of going on let's go ahead and go to five so on this one we're going to use both hands both hands are going to be doing the exact same thing here so paying attention to the dynamics as well we have a piano going up to mezzo forte and then back down so starting soft Okay, let's go ahead and go to the very bottom. It says C minor. We're going to transpose. Find your C minor position. On this one, remembering we're going to play an E flat or C minor. So same deal. We're going to go back to the beginning. So we're going to just follow that pattern. Five, four, three, two, three, four, five. Um, taking the repeat. Five, same thing, both hands coming together. And then also making sure we end soft there. We have a piano, and you can get, so we have a fermata as well, so you can kind of just hang on that one, kind of linger as long as you want to. 